So today I thought I'd do this real quick. I have a knife haul. Um, I really like collecting knives and like unique knives. Knives? <laughs> They're like my favorite. I don't know. But this is like my receipt, right? I got knives from Blades for Babes. I bought two different knives. I've actually wanted these for a long time and I thought about getting them off eBay before but I just never did. I used the code MOTHERSHIP and got like 10% off or something like that. But came this little envelope. I thought they were like going to be way bigger is one of them. I thought it was going to be like a lot bigger actually. But they're still cool so I'll show you them real quick. First of all, I noticed this. It came out and I was like, what is that? They gave me this little sticker. It's really cute actually. And I guess you can buy shirts of this or like a blanket or something of this print if you want that but I like this part with the knife and it says deliciously violent yeah she's not built to behave very cute I feel like I've seen this art somewhere before I don't know I guess I'll show this knife first this is the one I thought was gonna be big like I thought it was maybe gonna be like this big in the pictures I've seen of it before or like other places I've seen it for sale, it looked different. <laughs> so I thought it was gonna be like way bigger than this, but I don't know what the brand is. Oh, the brand is Wartech. I didn't know the brands when I bought them from the store, they just sell them. So yeah, gotta open this. Comes in like plastic, right? It's a comb. It's tiny, see, so like a little comb. Yeah, comb your hair with it. But, right, you're combing your hair, you're chilling, and then someone's like harassing you, and you're like, hey, don't do that. <laughs> it's a knife. But, the ones I've seen of these, the blade's like silver, and it looks different. This is a black blade that says Vortec right there. Can you see that? You can tell it says something, so I'm saying it says Wartech. Take my word for it. <laughs> but it's black and I thought it was gonna be like silver. And it's serrated on this edge, as you can see. And then on this edge, it's a blade too. And it's just a regular straight blade. And it's very pointed, very sharp, could do damage. So yeah, it's not exactly what I was expecting from the pictures, but I mean, I'm not complaining about it either. It has a little curved handle. That's my haunted doll going off. Um, yeah, don't know why, but this is my curved handle of this. And then it goes back, kind of like a dagger, you know? I have an, a thing, and when you pull it out, it's like that, so. As a whole, this is just like what it looks like for like an estimate of size. Um, it looks way bigger like this. <laughs> it's bigger than me. Um, massive right no it's about this big actually if you are interested it was 9.99 which is like a good deal um yeah so i decided to get that because i always wanted it i always wanted one i always wanted the other type but i'll take this one too this is the next thing i got um you might be able to tell what this is it says femme fatale i won't block it out there's no point this is Femme Fatale, and I like the print on that. I'm actually four years fluent in French, so I appreciate the French on this packaging. <laughs> if I can get it open, open without breaking it, that would be nice. It's just in this plastic. Looks like that. So, see, as you can tell, this is not a knife at all. It's just, just lipstick, right? Like, like <laughs> I like how it's curved it actually has a blade on both sides I wasn't expecting a blade right here but yeah so you could saw with it or cut could still do some pretty good damage even though it's tiny so and this feels just like an actual lipstick tube when you do it and then with this the case is actually pretty solid more than I thought and it turns really easy and then this is the black cap that goes on it that's how big it is. It just feels like a regular size lipstick and it doesn't have like any branding on it, but yeah. Yeah, that's all I got. I only got two things from there. 
Um, I seen another knife I wanted that had hearts on it I might get sometime eventually. Um, some of their knives are more expensive and some aren't. So I thought for $9.99, each of these were $9.99. I thought that was like a super good deal. So I got those and I never bought from that store before. So yeah, that's my review of those. They're just really quick. So if I get more knives, I'll show more knives. <laughs> also, before I go, I forgot. Um, I thought I'd just show this. If you can't tell by this box, but this is super old and been used this is in my purse all the time this box because I didn't want to leave it unprotected I'll show you what this is <laughs> it's still got bubble wrap it's my favorite thing in the whole world this is my child my prized possession right it's my switchblade it's gold I love this thing so much it's my favorite thing in the world it's probably one of my favorite possessions like look how the light hits it right um, it's so pretty I really like gold and black together and gold I thought was amazing. I got this when I was still in high school. They don't sell this anymore, but it's a Milano switchblade. I don't know the length of this, but I really like this. It's got a black wood handle and it's shiny like gold on this end too. Um, this switchblade is actually a double action, not a single action, right? Um, if you don't know what that means, I'll show you. Push this lever right here to close it. In case you don't know that, then it lets you close it. But you can't close it without doing that. Single action switch blades, which are like the common ones like you see in movies and stuff, or where they just go out the top, right? Those are vintage switch blades. Those are illegal now, <laughs> or so I'm told. And um, these, if they're too long, are illegal. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But this is a double action, which means it has to come out the side like a pocket knife would. But you know, it's spring assisted. You know, all switch blades are spring assisted, so. But then when you push it, it goes like that, see? There I'm tripping, or like my knife looks bent a little bit. You see that? Um, I don't know why, because I take really good care of this. It might just be the way that the lighting is in here or something. I hope nothing happened to it, or I'll be super mad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'll have to look into that, because it's looking kind of bent to me. I don't know, it won't bother me though. So I solved the mystery about it. But yeah, it's Milano, there's Milano brand. This is my favorite thing in the world. Probably one of my top 10 possessions I've ever owned. Convenient. I wanna get more switch blades. I don't really have that many. I have this one and I have a switch blade comb somewhere, but like, that's not cool. I mean, it's kinda cool, but it's not that cool. But I wanna get these in a bunch of other colors. Um, but I might get this one if I ever find it again somewhere because I like having two of them and I don't know why it looks bent. I really don't because it's just in my purse all the time. So that concerns me a lot. Um, I'll try to look at it later, see what's going on. So it looks like something's on it down here. I don't know what that is either. Um, yeah, very worried about it. Very worried about it. Yeah, I didn't know anything was wrong with it. So I use it for pictures a while back. I had them on my TikTok and they got taken down. They're still on my Instagram though, so. Yeah, and I don't think they were bent then, so. And I haven't took it out since then, so. Don't know, very confused. But now it has two companions. They go in my purse, so it's nice. Just girly things, you know, like switch blades and concealed weapons. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have. The switch blade I got forever ago, but I thought I'd show it because it is my prized possession very worried about though and i'm gonna look into it but yeah thanks for watching bye